So we are greeted by pirates. <laughs> I am back in Havre de Grace. Pretty sure I said it right this time. Um, and I just had a very late lunch at one of my favorite restaurants here. Probably the only restaurant I've eaten at, my third time. And I was looking for antique malls and guess what? There's one right next door. So we're gonna go check out this antique mall. Ask for permission to film. Um, not only is this an antique mall, but apparently it's a beer museum. So, who doesn't love a good beer museum? Let's go check it out. So we are greeted by pirates. <laughs> Found we were given permission to film. So let's check it out. This is pretty cool. Marbles. Baffle ball. It's really neat. Old photo album. I bet I love the cover. Seventy-five dollars for this set of three. Wow. Tons of art glass. I've got a fairy light. $75 on that. I think this one is Prince's house. $45. I think I gave one of those away. It's art glass back there. This is a thermometer. Check a glass. Yeah, check glass thermometer, 75. It's actually super cool. I don't know if you guys can see it here. I just don't know if I could pay 75 for it. All right, well, I'll have to think about those wall pockets because those are so neat. Oh, look. Snifter. <laughs> no way could I reach that. You need a step stool. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Not the not the sale show. <laughs> Put that right here. Look at this. Wow. That is so amazing. Hand blown glass. Dolphin. Well, maybe. Depends on who you ask. It's an ancient dolphin. Probably more like a dolphin fish. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna sit right here and think about it. goes all the way to the ceiling. It's so hard to focus. <laughs> My goodness, this is like at the Goodwill where I have to remember to look on the bottom shelf. Except here I have to remember to look all the way to the ceiling. I'm determined to find something. Oh, look, Rose Medallion. I like this one because it's um Facets to it. Eighteen dollars, made in China. It's got a nice shape. I don't know what eighteen though. Here are some hunt vases and Joseph originals. There's just a little bit of everything here. So far, the prices haven't really been ideal for a reseller, but I feel like a collector could have a ball in here. These are nice, 45 on that. I love the color. There's another one in here. I 
you know what I love is that there's no music. It's silence. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's not even when I'm just filming. I just, I like the silence. I drive in silence. I just don't, I don't care for it. I like silence. This is nice down here. This is one that opens on the side. Yes, it is. Let's see what the price is on that. Come here. 55. It's pretty amethyst. But I'm not sure if 55. I would have to be at like 25. So it was 135 on that. 135. Decanters. This is really cool. It's made of cast iron. I actually thought it was going to be pressed to wood. Hmm. Maybe Lorraine or Chalet. And there's no price on it. Pendle Thin Rabbits. <laughs> 15 on those. This is neat. It has a fox on it. You know I'm a sucker for foxes. May as well head upstairs to the Brew Mania Museum. Because I am a little curious. They have all of the cans. <laughs> Lighting the wall. Kind of reminds me of the one time we went to a Thunderbird Salvage and George had all of those cans for sale and the kids were playing hockey. <laughs> oh wow, look at it up here. <laughs> it's dark. So did you drink all this beer? <laughs> Some of it? I was never a beer drinker. Oh, okay, okay. I drank a lot of this whiskey, but... Oh, I see. <laughs> Very cool. A lot of those bottles look dug. <laughs> I don't know if you want pictures of this. There you have it. Those are cool. We have it back here. 65 on that. Beautiful Latticino. $15 on the glass apple. It's a pretty dish. Hand painted upon. All the flowers on that. It's a little bit of blendo. These down here, I forget who makes these. What is her name? Um, I sold Lacombe? Yeah, Lacombe. 25. I had one of her earlier cats. Um, that was like solid clay. We found that in Lewisburg Berry. <laughs> I can never remember. Oh, look at this. 75 on that. Man, that's when I would be so tempted on. <laughs> this cat is so wonderful. <laughs> He's so wonderful when he's 65. There is a really faint marking on the bottom. I can't make it out. I love his face. This is 25. I think I'll take that. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll take that for 25. Got a whole bunch of carnival glass. 125. 
65, 115, 55, 225. That's the dragon and lotus pattern right there. I just wanted to peek back here. The figurines. I, I noticed this because my eye went straight to it. This is an ashtray set. All of these are individual ashtrays. 75. That one has an original Murano sticker. Nice color combination of the amethyst with the amber. This appears Latticino. No price on that one. 18 on this guy. That's a nice piece of Murano as well. I'll take that for 18. Faustoria in the back. What is the price on the Faustoria? 65. Yeah, but it's Fenton. I recognize it as Faustoria only because I used to collect it. These are adorable. Puffs and Angels. 25 for the set of three. I don't know. I feel like as long as those are in good condition. This set should be worth more than 25. I think I may grab those three. This mermaid, I think that she is made to look like the little mermaid. Um, I forget where that statue is. It's a Royal Copenhagen makes a version of it. And I think, I think that's what this is made to look like. The little mermaid. This again is Fostoria. It's 175 on the pair of candlesticks. What do we have here? That is a beautiful small pink red glass ashtray. 45. That is gorgeous. I just don't know. I have 45 if I can do that for resale. Oh, Barbini. Are those chips? Yeah, the edges are chipped on that. See anything else there that jumps out at me? Weed whimsies. I love looking at miniatures because you just never know. Some miniatures can be worth a ton of money. I know. I've had them in the past. <laughs> Don't see any there. But I know of anyway. I love this. 18 on that. What a mid-century modern look. Hand painted. $18. And it looks like a Danish modern style. I think that might sell well. There's a few more head faces. Alright. Well, I think we've seen it. I think I need to go back next door and get my to-go order. <laughs> And I'm bringing it home to the family. Red beans and rice and some gumbo. The kids have never had gumbo before, so we'll see how that goes when we get home. Laurel has had gumbo. She likes gumbo. We had it last week. Nice Bill Campbell for 35 down here. I think we'll take that with us. I don't really see anything else. I like Bill Campbell. I don't recall my exact spend at Bazooka's Antique Center, um, but I'll put it up here for you guys. Um, I think it was more of a collector's antique mall than a reseller's antique mall, but I did find a few things, and it was it was fun to look at all of the beautiful stuff they had because I was like, I was so tempted, um, and had I been shopping for myself, I probably would have bought a few more things, but I had to had to show a little restraint. Um, so I've moved on now and I am sitting outside of a Goodwill. Um, this Goodwill is in Bel Air, Maryland, I believe. Um, we're going to head in here. I haven't been to this one before. I don't know what to expect. Um, but we're going to head in here and see what we can find. So here we go. thing is so precious. <laughs> it is broken. <laughs> All right. So this is a Goodwill Superstore. Oh, ten, ten dollars. Um, this is a Goodwill Superstore, but there's not very many hard goods. 
which is a shame. I'm like, oh, super store. That means it must be super full of hard goods, but that's not the case. <laughs> Unfortunately. What do we have down here? 10 bucks. What is that? That is Portugal. Highmark Portugal. It's a nice looking bowl. I sold a really nice bowl out of my booth. It was really colorful. I can't remember. I think I got like 36 bucks for it. I don't know if I want a giant bowl though. What's this one? Made in China. The size of this place is absolutely massive. <laughs> but there's not much on the shelves. Kind of a bummer. I was like really looking forward to this. I pulled up, I'm like, oh, it's huge. This is going to be great. <laughs> You never know. You never know. I found some great stuff in small Goodwills before, so you just never know. It's always worth checking. It kind of reminds me of the Hager Lime Peel. It's eight bucks. I think I might grab it. I don't know if it is a Hager Lime Peel, but it's definitely vintage. Um, we'll grab it for eight dollars. It's got that lime peel look to it. Kind of porous. Gonna go this way. Here's a cool dish. The sun and a moon on it. And that's fun. What is that? Made in China. The tray is just so fun. <laughs> With that quilted design to it. It's four bucks. You guys know I have a thing for trays. I promised you I wasn't gonna pick any more up, but I just can't resist this tray. Four dollars. And it's metal, so it's easy to ship throw it in a box. It doesn't even need cushioning. Just kidding. They probably cushion it. This is made in Staffordshire, England. That could actually be something, but also I don't really feel like messing with any sets of dishes right now. There's some jewel tea. 10 and 12. Well, not a whole lot here at this Goodwill. I was kind of I'm disappointed. Um, it looks huge. It is huge. There's lots of clothes. Not much in the way of hard goods. Um, I did find that lamp, which kind of has a lime peel texture to it. I don't know if it's Hager or not. Um, I knew it was worth more than the $8 I paid for it. Um, my total spend was $13. And um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would stop back because it's on my way. I'd swing through. I'd see what I could find. Um, but it's definitely not high on my list of places to visit. Um, I wouldn't make a special a special trip like I did for the other Goodwill <laughs> here in Maryland. But um, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on home. My next stop is home. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess I will see you all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you